With students returning to class on Monday, Michigan school districts are urging, they're being urged to take extra precautions at the state. The state is seeing this record number of COVID cases right now. This comes as booster shots for kids 12 to 15 could get the green light next week. For this, let's check in with Kim DiGiulio as these districts are gearing up for the big day on Monday. That's right. Good morning, Rhonda. So kids going back to school on Monday, the Omicron variant on the rise. So parents really eager to get their children boosted. We're expecting to hear from the FDA about that booster approval as soon as Monday. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services sending a letter to superintendents across the state warning them that with the highly contagious Omicron variant and the highest ever daily case rate, with students returning next week, mitigation factors need to be in full effect, including vaccinations, testing, and indoor masking for all students, even those vaccinated, plus to either cancel or make virtual gatherings with 100 people or more, including sporting events. Superintendents across Metro Detroit say mitigation guidance is not a problem, but staffing might be. Knowing that we have good safety mitigation in place in our schools with masking and distancing and contact tracing, we really look at staffing levels and student levels to determine if we have enough staff to make school work. The New York Times is now reporting the FDA is set to give the OK for boosters for 12 to 15 year olds. That would only be the Pfizer booster. Currently, those boosters have been approved for 16 and 17 year olds. Vaccination remains the top priority of the state and federal health officials as hospitals are once again seeing an influx of COVID patients. And don't automatically expect to get treatments like antibodies if you do get sick because supplies are running low. Hospitals are having to be selective of who gets the treatment. The resources for actually getting the monocodals are down, but also staff is down. We've got a lot of staff that are out with COVID currently, and, and that includes uh, the infusion staff to, to administer that medication. And that booster approval for ages 12 to 15 can't come soon enough. With tonight being New Year's Eve, a lot of high-risk COVID activities will be going on. So numbers, unfortunately, are still expected to rise in the coming weeks. Reporting out here live, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.